what are your views on the global warming phenomenon is it a natural process by being accelerated by human activities or is the situation really very acute as portrayed will mass electric vehicles adoption stop global warming so global warming is a reality global warming does happen it's been happening for ever since the planet was born global warming has been an ever present feature of planet earth from the very beginning and the earth's atmosphere and climate etc has seen massive changes over the over the eons so it is a natural process yes but does do human activities accelerate or affect global warming definitely yes and even if you look at the past 20 30 40 000 years of of uh, human history there has been significant change in the climate so there has been a massive ice age the last glacial uh, minimum which was around 20 to 20 000 years ago or so before today there was the younger dryas uh, period which was a sudden uh, sp- surge of cold weather which happened about 13 to 12 000 years ago and then there is the uh, little ice age which happened a few centuries ago and now there is this global warming that's happening so this is something that keeps happening over time but yes the uh, human activities are indeed as far as we know from the data that we have they are the human activities are indeed causing and speeding up the rate of uh, global warming right now so this process began with the industrial revolution when the western world started emitting uh, carbon into the atmosphere in large quantities and today we have a great deal of excess of all this which has been released into the, the atmosphere and this is causing the effect of global warming because there are greenhouse gases etc that are part of this so yes it is definitely something that's happening can we stop it i doubt it very much it's going to happen whether we like it or not we can try and slow down our contribution to global warming which even even that is uh, quite difficult to achieve because every country does what is best for itself and its national interest and it's very difficult to achieve uh, certain targets so it's going to happen whether we like it or not the situation i don't know how acute it is but yes we are moving towards a time in which the temperatures will on average be a couple of degrees maybe 2 or 3 degrees higher than what they used to be in the past so that is a significant change yes and it's going to cause a great deal of changes in the climate in the sea levels etc uh, very low lying countries like the maldives and certain south pacific islands may entirely disappear uh, coastal regions and clo- coastal cities may be greatly affected by this rise in sea levels so yes we will see this in the coming uh, decades maybe century or so yeah it will happen will uh, the adoption of electric vehicles in in massive numbers stop global warming well it all depends on how we are producing electricity even if we stop using uh, these combustion engines and stop using uh, petroleum and gasoline diesel petrol etc but if we are still generating electricity using the burning of coal or any such dirty method then even if we adopt electric vehicles worldwide is going to make no difference whatsoever because we are still generating electricity by burning coal or by burning some other fuel so the best way to uh, slow down this process is to use renewable energy uh, solar energy wind energy hydrothermal energy etc that would be the or nuclear energy so these are the ways in which we can possibly slow down the global warming but just adopting electric vehicles will really make no difference as long as electricity is produced the way we currently are producing it to the largest extent because i think most of the universe of the uh, electricity produced worldwide i think a major portion of it is produced by burning coal and that is just as bad as using a diesel or petroleum burning vehicle so that is the key it's to use uh, sustainable sources of energy